Joomla provides all the functionality you need for a simple site, but if you require some specific functionality, then you can often find what you need at the Joomla extensions directory. In this lesson, I'll take you through this directory and show you how to download and install an extension. To begin, head over to extensions.joomla.org. There are a number of ways you can search for extensions, but when you know what category you're after, it's easiest to browse through this listing. I'll install a photo gallery extension, so start by clicking the Photos and Images category. You might have to dig deeper by clicking on a subcategory. Then you'll see several choices, a brief description of each, and reviews and votes by other Joomla users. I just want a simple image gallery, so this one sounds good. Click on the title to read more and find out where to download. Note that this particular extension is non-commercial, meaning it's free, but some extensions are only available at a cost. Clicking the download button takes us to the appropriate page at the developer's site. You might need to go looking for the appropriate download link and in this site I need to scroll down to find it and click the download link. Now just like templates Extensions will usually come with some instructions, and you should refer to them at this point. You might just install it using the raw file we downloaded, or you might have to extract the files first, and then find the appropriate file to install. In this case, we install the file we downloaded. Go to Administrator, and log in. Go to Extensions, Install, Uninstall. Choose the file that you downloaded and click Upload File and Install. Now you really do need to have a read of the instructions on how to use the extension. All extensions work differently and it's impossible to provide training on how to use all of them. However, there are some principles that you'll find helpful. Let's go ahead and use the extension that we just installed. There are three types of extensions, and you control each one differently. The first is called a plugin, and these are controlled within an individual article. The extension I installed is a plugin, and the first step is to activate it and optionally change some settings. Go to Extensions, Plugin Manager. Look for the new extension you installed and click its title change enable to yes, then consult the instructions and decide if you need to adjust any of these parameters. And then click save. Let's return to our aircraft article. Click within the article at the point where you want the plugin to function. Then refer to the extension instructions to determine what to write. In the case of the simple image gallery extension, you enter gallery and then the name of the appropriate folder under your stories in Media Manager. And then forward slash gallery. Save the article and then go to your front end and have a look at it. You'll see that a photo gallery has been inserted in your article that displays all the images in the food folder. You can click on an image to open it in a new window. Another extension type is a module, as explained in Lesson 9. 
These are managed by going to Extensions Module Manager. Plugins work inside an article whereas modules are placed into positions in your template. The last extension type are components and these tend to be more complex. As such they live under their own menu here. Components often have several aspects to their functionality and these might be broken into pages with submenus. The resulting content from components may appear in the main part of the page or inside a module. Refer to the developer if you have questions on how to use their extension. You now know how to find an extension, install it, as well as the three different types of extensions. In the final video, I'll wrap everything up and give you some hints on where to go from here. One more thing I wanted to let you know about before we finish. As I explained in this lesson, there are loads of extensions, but finding the right ones can be challenging. So I've put together a comprehensive report of the very best Joomla extensions. And you guessed it, it's included as part of the advanced course. Click the link below for more information.